Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. School-going children of Abetimajina High School trek to Kolua, the next village of about 45 minutes to attend school. This is because the community has no structure for junior high school. Bright Nanamfo reports this has resulted in some kids dropping out after primary six. School infrastructure is a key development challenge. Abetima is a farm community. Incomes are low. Many kids in school can only access primary education. Some kids at the primary level were taught under trees, though the district is working hard at improving education. Children walking to school is a challenge. The fact is that you have some pupils who would have to trek uh, for longer distances to attend school. Now, observing this, the district assembly, the MP, the leadership, under our watch identified some few strategies by which we could uh, mitigate this challenge. Number one, we recognize that because some schools are a bit far, the challenge has to do with those at kindergarten levels who would have to walk uh, for certain distances to attend school. Some kids who completed primary school at Abetima dropped out. Trekking to school at the next community was a headache for residents whose desire to see their wards educated is high. Most of them feel lazy to walk from here to the next village for hand. So most of them complete their schooling the moment they are done with their classes here. And also when it rains, some feel lazy to go and their books and uniforms get wet. They have to return back home. For district authorities, kids walking to school is a setback to efforts at improving education. This had led to having some children in some communities that have attained certain ages that they should have been in school, but you would find that they have not been able to, to go to school. And so the step we have taken is to ensure that we put in place a number of KG structures. The intention is that, yes, if we are not able to put up a full school for now, we can still allow these children to start going to kindergarten. Then when they mature to a certain stage where they can move, to the, to the nearest community, then they can walk uh, in there. A get fund structure started some years ago is yet to be completed. The six-room structure is expected to be completed to ensure kids do not trek to school in the next community. I will appeal to the government to complete this one as soon as possible so that hopefully by next academic year we can start with the GHSA. To improve the education environment, a junior high school building has also been started by the district assembly. It is expected to ensure kids do not trek to school. The structure, when completed, will improve teaching and learning. We have recognized uh, the fact that a few communities still need such structures. Prekumase, Apinsu, Briponsu, Ogome, Kabu, um, these four or five are areas that we want to tackle immediately. The district is spoiled at improving education. Residency, turning attention to improving education, will ensure every child of school going age gets to go to school. <laughs> Um, some of the students, when completing the basic six, going to the other, the nearby community, which is some meters away, feel reluctant to continue. So if we are able to complete the GHS, the primary, they will convert this block into GHS and to help them to continue from there. With over 45 educational facilities, the Upper Manya Krobo District can use education to push its development up. Bright Nanafu, TV3, Upper Manya Krobo District. That's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid, and the EU.
knowledge is